I'm Jay Stucens and today I'm going to take you through some of the XF line of fittings from Corsair so that you can better understand where to use them. So we've got a bunch of different fittings right here, sort of broken out into two categories. We've got your required fittings, which are specifically for attaching to your tubes, to your components. And then we've got some secondary or auxiliary fittings that are going to be used for angles, 90s, Ys, uh, drain ports, as well as fill ports. So let's go ahead and kind of take a look at where these are best used. So right here we have two different types of compression fittings. We have a hardline compression fitting as well as just a standard compression fitting. So the XF compression fittings are meant for soft tubing, which is your flexible tube. And then the XF hardline fittings are designed specifically for your rigid tubing. So when it comes to sizing your XF compression, there are two measurements. There's an inner diameter, which is specific to the inside of the tubing to fit over the barb. And then your outer diameter, which is specific for the collar. As long as those two measurements match on the fitting and the tubing, then they are gonna be compatible. Installation is pretty simple. Slide your collar over your tube, slide your tube onto the barb, make sure it bottoms all the way down and then screw your collar into place, locking the tube into position. When it comes to the XF Hardline, the only measurement you really need to care about is the outer diameter of the tube. As long as the outer diameter measurement of the tube and the fitting match, they are compatible. Installing your rigid tube onto your XF Hardline is pretty simple. Slide the collar over the tube, slide the O-ring on the tube, slide the tube into your fitting, slide the O-ring down to the fitting, and then the locking collar will compress the O-ring, holding the tube in place, as well as giving it a good seal. Now, a common question that I get when it comes to creating your open loop is how many fittings do I need? Well, it's simple math. For every component that you have, you need two fittings. The only time that changes is if you're using a pump reservoir combo, then you only need two for the combo. So if I have one radiator, one CPU block, one GPU block, and a pump res combo, I need eight fittings. Now we have two type of angled fittings here from Corsair's XF line of fittings. And those are gonna be ones that are threaded on either end, as well as fittings that have compressions or hardline fittings built into them. So this is the XF hardline compression adapter. So basically it's a 90 degree fitting that's got two XF hardline fittings built into either end, which means that you can take your hard line and use this fitting instead of actually bending, heating and bending the tube, making it a lot cleaner and a lot simpler. Now, sometimes you don't have a lot of room with your component and you don't want to put an aggressive bend on either your soft tubing or your rigid tube. And that's where these XF adapters come in handy. We've got them available in 45, 90, as well as a double rotary 90. Now, these are rotary fittings, which means that instead of having to be at the mercy of wherever the threads stop, you can actually rotate the fitting allowing you to be able to point it in any direction that you want. Now, unlike the XF Hardline adapter fitting like we've got right here, this is threaded, which means that you can put whichever fitting you plan on using in your loop onto the end of this. And because it is rotary, like I said, you can point it in the direction that you need. Now over here, we have a couple of specialty fittings which allow you to do things on your loop to make them even cleaner. So this right here is the XF fill port. And you've seen us use these in some of our builds where we're passing through walls or we're just creating a fill port or even a drain port. So basically you drill a hole wherever you wanna pass through that's the same size as the barrel of this fitting, making sure not to go too big so the collar still has something to seat onto, pass it through and then lock the collar down on the opposite side. And now you have a fitting that allows you to attach something else to, whether it be a soft line, a rigid, you kind of get the idea. Now this isn't just used for passing through objects though. You can also use this on the top of your system with a tube running into your reservoir and put a cap on here, giving you a nice clean place from the outside of your system to top off your loop without having to take it apart. Now is where you can kind of get creative with the XF adapter. This is basically a Y adapter. It's got a built-in rotary. It's already G-quarter threaded, so you could put it into anything that has threads, whether it be a radiator or a block. So this allows you to get creative with your loop where you can either spread off into a parallel loop where you have some of the flow go off to a CPU block and some of it go off somewhere else into your system and you would use the same fitting to bring those tubes back together wherever they meet again. And last but not least, we have our drain port. This is probably one of the most important fittings you can add to any system. This allows you to easily drain the loop and get the fluid out of your system without having to worry about doing catch cans or putting little bowls underneath the fittings as you pop them off. So as you can see right now, you can see through the valve. Hey, I see you. And as you turn, it's a ball valve in there that will close off the flow. You just wanna make sure you put this in the lowest point of your loop which will make things a lot simpler when it comes time to either drain or maintain your system. So I'm Jace Two Cents, and that's been my overview of the XF series of fittings from Corsair's Hydro-X line of water cooling products. To see everything that Corsair has to offer, head to Corsair.com.